This is a follow-up from our previous video, Creation Part 2, First Galactic War, and the Creation of the Anunnaki. Be sure to watch that one before you watch this one, if you haven't yet. Approximately 400 billion died due to the war, and 50 to 100 planets were completely destroyed. The Orion Empire would keep standing and making trouble with their allies. A new galactic federation was established, eventually holding over 200,000 star systems. During and after this war, groups of refugees from all corners of the war came together and formed a new combined race called the Anunnaki, of which the royal family would present Anu as head, and Inanna, Enki, and Enlil as princes and princess. The Anunnaki created a planet-sized spaceship called Nibiru, or Planet X, in search of gold and resources to elevate their society. Eventually, they entered our solar system, where Nibiru would pass the Earth every 3,600 years. They would first settle on a former planet named Phaeton or Vmaldek. Only a few million years later, they would get in conflict with the beings from Mars. These beings eventually found a way into the nuclear stock of Maldek and set it to blaze. The whole planet would explode, some of the Anunnas managed to escape to our moon, where they settled for some time. However, some asteroids from the explosion would set their way toward Earth, causing the dinosaur extinction event. But not long after, a massive solar flare erupted, destroying their moon base, again, some managed to escape, although they were few. They set course to Earth and landed in what would now be the Turkish-Iraqi border mountains. Now crash landed on this planet, they struggled and needed a way to repair their ships. They didn't know what to do at first. But one of the wise advisors told them they could repair their ship using gold. The same gold as they would need for their home planet. This was to be a lot of gold, which they couldn't possibly mine and process by themselves. And so Enki, as the group's head scientist, was tasked to create a newly evolved species from this planet to mine the gold for them. Enki did this by manipulating and changing our DNA structure, which we now know as chromosome number 2. Which is a fuse of our DNA with the Anunnaki's one. Today, thanks to this DNA fusing, our DNA holds a vast library of almost all our galaxy's alien species information. At first, we were enslaved and treated like animals, Enki and his followers didn't want this anymore, they tried to set us free. But Anu and Enel would not agree to this. Creating an all-out war, during this war, one of the gods, we now know as Apollo or Poseidon, took a group of humans to what would now be around North Africa and the Canary Islands. There they founded Atlantis, which would eventually grow into a vast empire stretching across a large part of the known world, reaching even America and Antarctica. The capital city would lie in Mauritania, the legendary city of Atlantis.
A little bit after this, another being Ouroboros, would take another group from Mesopotamia and create Lemuria's empire. Eventually, Atlantis and Lemuria would come to blows. One of the gods on Enlil's side gave them the technology for nuclear weapons, which would become their downfall by accident. Not long after, by most likely another solar flare that hit the Earth, all ice caps would melt at once, creating a global super flood around 12,000 years ago, wiping out almost all of existence on this planet. Except for Enki and his followers, the Anunnaki managed to get away and run to their home planet slash ship Niburu. If you want to know more about the Anunnaki's time here on Earth and about Atlantis, you can find some links in the description of this video. What remains of these great civilizations, we find in ruins all over the world, with the remains of the famous capital, the legendary city of Atlantis, can now be found in Mauritania, a place known as the Richard Structure. We also made a video about this on our channel, which the link will also be in the description. The structure looks exactly like how Atlantis was described. Let's take a closer look at it. When we use the flood map, we can see that this also would correspond, and the location of where the structure resides would be on the edge of an island, which looks almost the same as how the island of Atlantis would be described. But as we know, those civilizations were destroyed with no remains by the flood. At least, that is why we think, the Atlanteans created a colony, Meroe or Meroe, now known as Egypt. We know this because the Egyptians were the ones who first spoke of Atlantis, but how would they know? Egypt resided after the Great Flood? Well, wrong, again. Egypt was a colony of Atlantis, which existed long before the Flood. Evidence of this is when we look at the Sphinx and the pyramids, where we can discover erosion, still seeing the marks, the decline had to be from water, which would be strange because they stand in the middle of a desert. Proving again that there was a great flood. And the legacy of the Anunnaki's time here on Earth and the Lemurian and Atlantean Empire, we can thus find in religions and folklore around the whole world. And with that ending this video, in the following video, we will talk about what happened after this cataclysmic event, and the second Marsian War. So make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss it. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want more of these kinds of videos, let us know by dropping a like.